or you incarcerated or you know someone who is incarcerated, well, you definitely want to make sure you save this video for later and give me a follow. I'm Technisha Day. I help people with personal credit, business credit, and other financial services that I could provide. Now, if you are incarcerated or you know someone who is incarcerated, you are obligated to still file your taxes. However, it may be a little bit more complicated than someone who is not incarcerated. But I got some steps to help you along the way so you can still file your taxes even while you're in prison. One, you want to gather all your tax documents. Now, whatever prison you may be in, they may provide those tax documents such as a W-2 or you may still have to reach out to your employer or any other financial institution to obtain those documents to file your taxes. You will need access to a computer or paper form to file your taxes. Number two, you want to choose your filing method. You can file electronically or using paper form. Now, if you use paper form, make sure that you mail off your tax documents to the proper address for prisoners, which may be a different address from non-incarcerated taxpayers. Number three, seek out assistance. If you need assistance, there are a few options. You may can get help from an inmate who has experience in tax filing or a tax professional or taking advantage of a program for free tax preparation assistance, such as the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. They work wonders for people who don't want to, for people who normally don't make $60,000 a year. Um, if you make less than that, they help you or senior citizens or if you're limited on English speaking, they help you um, definitely with filing your taxes for free. So all you have to do is look them up on Google, put in your zip code and voila magic. Number four, request an extension. If you feel that you're not going to be able to file by the deadline, which is April the 15th for your taxes, you can request an extension by filling out the form 4868. This will give you an extension of six months to file your taxes. And last but not least, number five, be aware of tax credits. If you have a spouse or dependents who are not incarcerated, you may be eligible for certain tax credits, such as the earned income tax credit or child tax credit. Make sure to look at your options because you may be able to take advantage of any tax credits that you are eligible for. Again, make sure you share, like, and follow me.